What's up guys and welcome to an Icon Review. Haven't done much this year. I am back after about a two month absence. Really just actually fed up with this game. Uh, my account actually got banned as well. So this is someone else's account. I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers. His name is Alden. Um, awesome guy from Sweden. He let me do a review on Puyol and Rui Costa, um, both primes, and today we're going to be taking a look at Carles Puyol, obviously a Barcelona and Spanish legend, the center back there, he also has a, I think, a 90 overall, um, his middle of the road card, and then his baby card is an 86, which is actually a right back, and I played with that one as well, that one's a little bit more speedy, this one's a little bit more centered in on um, defensive, tackling, interception, strength, um, but we're now going to go ahead and talk about his Face card stats, guys, 70 pace, 45 shooting, 68 passing, 58 dribbling, 94 defense, 90 physical. He's got three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. Didn't score any goals, didn't have any assists with him, guys. Um, he has those medium-high work rates as well. I'm not sure if I said that. Um, so he's really a defensive player, which is awesome. Um, that's really the work rates that I've been going for, especially on FIFA 18 with how terrible this game is. It's more of an offensive-type game. Um, so that's really why I've focused on medium high, especially for um, a lot of my center backs. Now his in-game stats, guys, um, everything is pretty bad except for his defending and physical. You see there's 70 pace, um, pretty crappy acceleration. He actually has decent shot power, which is a really random stat, 71. His passing um, is actually a little underrated, 76 and 73 for short and long pass. His passing is actually awesome. Um, from when I play with him, he didn't. I don't. He, I think he cl completed like 96% of passes, which is a ridiculous stat. His 94 defending and 90 physical made up of 96 interceptions, 92 heading accuracy, 95 standing tackle, 91 sliding tackle. Good jumping, good stamina, good strength. Also in 91 aggression. We'll talk a little bit more, guys, about his pros and cons and the highlights, which we're gonna get into right now. So now taking a look at some gameplay, guys. We're gonna talk about his pros and cons. Um, this prime Carlos Puyol, 92 overall card. He's like I say, he's a lot more defensive than his baby card. If you want a little more pace and you need a right back, his baby card isn't actually that bad. I didn't do a review on it, but I did actually um, play with that card a little bit earlier on FIFA. Um, actually didn't mind it too much. It was actually a pretty nice card. Um, but it's 92 guys, really defensive base. He's a pretty good center back. Um, and specifically, um, his tackling is really good. You'll see a nice save there. Um, his tackling is really good. His stand tackling, especially. You got. I stay away from slide tackling, especially now. I used to be really good at it. Um, but on this game, it just like is an instant foul, especially in the box. It's almost a penalty guaranteed. Uh, another another thing is interceptions, guys. He does really well um, getting um, you know in the mix where he needs to be to make defensive stops. Um, which is why I pretty much I rate him as a center back. Um, his passing, one more thing, his ratings for his passing really aren't that good. I talked about that a little bit earlier, um, but I really was successful in his passing, as you'll see here. It's a nice pass, nice clear-out pass, outlet pass to um, an attack opportunity. Um, his passing is really good, right? You make the tackle, and get it out. He does a really nice job of that. Nice interception there and header away. The only problems I have with him, guys, his height, he's pretty short. I think he's 5'10". You know, it's not super short, but to me, uh, I like my uh, center backs especially to be taller so they can head away um, any, you know, lob through balls, through balls, whatever. Um, his pace as well, he feels a little bit slower than 70 pace, which is a little disappointing. Um, but as long as you keep him back enough, you're not going to have to chase anyone down anyways. Um, so I do like Puyol as a defensive option. Obviously, he's a prime card. I'm going to try to focus on prime cards in my upcoming reviews so that you guys can know whether you want to do the squad building challenges or not for those prime icons. You guys see there, it's been up for a little bit. The summary, um, overall rating 9.1 out of 10, uh, just over a 9. It's a pretty good rating. Uh, his pros and cons are listed as well as some stats down there. I only played five games because, like I said, I can't take this game. Uh, two clean sheets, 95% pass completion percentage. 73% uh, tackles, 1 percentage, and a 1.4 goals against the game. As long as you're scoring two goals a game with Puyol at center back, you're going to uh, fare very well. Um, I did play these games in the DKO, the Daily Knockout Tournament. So um, these were tougher opponents. I actually came against some God squads um, and struggled a little bit. Um, but I like Puyol as um, a center back option. As long as you have another tall or a tall center back next to him, I think he'd be set. Um, I'm not sure how much it costs to complete his squad building challenge. I want to say it's probably around 500k, maybe 600k, um, but definitely a nice 92 rated card. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while. I hope you're kind of still sticking around. It was actually a Reddit post that got me back into wanting to do some reviews. Someone actually said that I was uh, a good legend reviewer um, and someone should uh, look up me or reference me if they wanted uh, to find out something about icons. Unfortunately, I haven't done many this year. Um, but that was kind of cool. I also want to give a shout out to um, some of my boys back home, um, some of my PUBG brothers. If you guys are interested in all at PUBG, I've been playing a lot of PUBG, and my buddies actually stream on Mixer. I'll leave their links to their channels. I think it's a channel on Mixer um, down below. You click on those links, guys. They get chicken nonstop, chicken dinners only. Um, check out those guys. Check out those links. Get some tips and tricks um, to do very well in PUBG. Hope you guys like this video. Um, as always, leave a like, a comment, subscribe as well if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.